Here are the video solutions for NCFE Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and this is section A which is the non-calculator section and this is from September 2020. So let's make a start with question number one. So Linda thinks that more kennels take dogs only than cats only. So the question is, is, is three eighths bigger than two fifths? Uh, that's what Linda thinks. So is she right? Now we can't compare three eighths and two fifths because the numbers on the bottom are different. So what I'm going to do is convert them, convert both these fractions so they have the same bottom number. Now the um, the easiest way to do that is to turn them into fractions with a bottom number of eight times by five, which is forty. So three eighths is the same as what over forty and two fifths is the equivalent to what over 40. So what do we do to turn an eight into a 40? We multiply by five. So let's multiply the three by five, we get 15. To turn a five into a 40, we're multiplying by eight. Therefore, for the equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the top by eight, so that is 16. So, is, so three eighths is uh, 15 over 40, and two fifths is 16 over 40. Now, Linda thinks 15 over 40 is greater than 16 over 40. Well, that is not the case. So is she correct? The answer is no, because 15 um, 40ths is less than 16 40ths. Part B. Okay, so uh, we know the dimensions that the enclosure must be. And here is a scale drawing, and one centimeter is 20 centimeters. So to, um, we are, re, real life is 20 times bigger than the scale drawing. So if this is five centimeters in real life, it's gonna be five times by 20, which is 100 centimeters. And on the bottom, we've got 9.5 times 20. So what is 9.5 times by 20? Well, 9.5 by 20 is the same as 95, making this number 10 times bigger, multiplied by two, making this number um, 10 times smaller. So what is 95 times by two? Two times five is 10, zero carry one, two nine to 18 plus one is 19. So this is 190 centimeters. So the enclosure is uh, 100 centimeters by 190. So is it bigger or smaller than these dimensions? Well, one centimeter, sorry, 100 centimeters, that is one meter. Um, now, 190 centimetres, if I divide that by 100, I'll turn it into metres, and that is 1.9. So, um, so this is a scale drawing, uh, which is, well, in real life, it's 1 metre by 1.9, and it says the enclosure must be a minimum of 1.8 by 0 0.9. Well, 1 metre is bigger than 0 0.9, and 1.9 metres is bigger than 1.8 metres, so um, is the enclosure big enough? The answer is yes. So the ratio of staff to dogs is one to 15. So that means for every 15 dogs, one staff member. So if we've got 30 dogs, well that is double the number in the ratio. So if we've got twice as many dogs, we'll need twice as many staff and one times two is two. So that's simply two staff members. Linda places an online advert for her business. She pays 98 pence each time someone clicks on her advert. So if 100 people click on the advert, then that is going to be 0 0.98 multiplied by 100. 100 has two zeros, so that means we're going to be moving the decimal point two positions. So it will be after the eight, so that will be 98 point nothing, so just 98 pounds. Okay, question E. So we've, um, she chooses offer B, so how much is she gonna save by choosing B instead of offer A? So let's work out offer A. So she's placing six half um, page adverts, so half page is here. And offer A is she places three adverts and gets 10% off. So what is 10% of 240? 10% 10 of 240 well, that is 240 divided by 10, which is 24 pounds. So she's gonna get 24 pounds off. 240 take away 24 is what? 240 take away 20 is 220. 
220, takeaway 4 is 216. So that is for placing three adverts. Now she's placing six, so it's going to be 216 uh, plus another 216, so that is 432 pounds. So that is offer, um, offer A. Okay, offer B is you place six adverts and get one fifth off. So what is one fifth of 450 pounds? Well, that is 450 pounds divided by five. 45 divided by five is nine. So 450 divided by nine, as uh, divided by five is 90. So she's gonna get 90 pounds off. 450 take away 90 is 360 pounds. So offer B, she's gonna save some money. So the uh, what she's gonna save is the difference between the two amounts. So that is 430, was it 432? 432, take away 360. Um, so 360 counting up to 400 is 40, plus another 32, 40 plus 32, so that is a difference of 72 pounds. Okay, so for part F, Linda also sells pet food. Um, the table shows Linda's takings in the first week and we've got some amounts. So. These, um, these are the ranges for the taking. So this is the takings column. And this column here is the frequency. How many times does it occur? So how many are between zero and 4.99? No, 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 no. Uh, they've got one here and another one here. So that is a frequency of two. Right, let's take those out of the equation. Between five and 9.99. So we're looking for single figures. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's uh, just get rid of those so that there's less to look at um, for the next part. Between 10 and 14.99, one, two, three, four, five. So therefore it's just two left. Let's just double check um, how many we've got here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Does this add up to 18? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect, so we have completed, oh, just need to put in the total, which is, of course, 18. And that is the end of section A.